Bristol ridges out and it's a bit underwhelming to say the least. Featuring last generation architecture and showing lackluster DDR4 and overclocking support had left me a bit underwhelmed by the current APU lineup, or the A series rather. But benchmarks for AMD's upcoming Raven Ridge APUs featuring the Zen CPU and Vega GPU art microarchitectures have been spotted. The mobile Ryzen family of chips is expected to launch within the next couple months ahead of the holiday season, and it's looking quite promising. This is going to be the company's first generation of mobile processors to feature its next generation Zen CPU microarchitecture. And it's also going to be the first to feature the company's Vega graphics architecture on die. It's also the first generation of mobile parts from the company to be built on the 14 nanometer manufacturing process, which delivers significant performance and power efficiency improvements over the previously used 28 nanometer planar tech that Bristol Ridge is based on. The particular Ryzen Mobile APU sample that has been spotted is a mid-range Ryzen 5 2500U chip featuring 4 cores and supports up to 8 threads. Well, 4 cores, 8 threads. Back when Raven Ridge was officially announced in May, AMD announced that Ryzen Mobile will deliver up to 50% better CPU performance and up to 40% better GPU performance at roughly half the power. And based on the leaked performance figures that we have on hand, we have very little doubt that AMD is going to be able to hit these goals. The Ryzen 5 2500U managed a score of 9,723 points in the multi-core portion of the Geekbench 4 test and 3625 points in the single-threaded portion of the same test. By comparison, AMD's fastest mobile Bristol Ridge A12-9800B part scores nearly half the points in the multi-core portion of the test and more than 1,200 points less in the single-threaded portion of the test. This translates to a roughly 90% performance improvement in multi-threaded workloads and and roughly 56% improvement in single threaded performance. These figures vastly exceed what AMD has previously promised in May when Ryzen Mobile was first announced. So things are looking promising to say the least for the upcoming APUs and you can bet we'll be right there when these things release. Now if you found this video informative in the least, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next one. Feel free to leave a comment if you have anything to add. And as always, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV and we'll catch you all in the next video.